Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time I'm drawing on XB Pen newest budget pen display, the Artist 12 second gen. I'm rocking the blue one right now and I'll be drawing the fan art of Demon Slayer, Tanjiro. Sorry if I butchered the name. This is actually convention prep and I thought this would be really cool to show you guys, especially since I haven't seen many full drawing videos on this display and I think as an artist and consumer it's really important to see how this works in real time from full illustration till the end and this time I made sure to do line art which is something that I don't normally do with my own art style because I'm super lazy I end up going with a more painterly style but this time I took my time to do line art and I think it's also a cool way to show off how well this pen display works especially with the line capabilities that's not something I normally do and it works really well it was not jittery and I didn't have to do many crazy adjustments like it comes with a couple of express keys on the side and I haven't adjusted them at all it comes pre-built in with a lot of useful shortcuts such as zooming in and zooming out because that's important since again this is not a touch screen tablet and at this price point I don't think you really need it and the buttons work just as well and I must say one of the bonus points that XP Pen added to the express keys was that they have braille writing on the side at least from what I can see but they might not be braille so don't confirm it but basically as you guys can see zoom in on the side they have different little dots that help you differentiate which really helps with the muscle memory when you're trying to learn a lot of these shortcuts so it makes it so easy to just jump right in and start creating and I didn't even think how important that sort of convenience is especially uh, when you're starting out you're trying out a new device if there's so many new things too many friction it does affect your work so I'm really happy that this was something easy to jump into and I fixed my last issue from my unboxing video which you can find on the pop-up card right here I was able to connect this with a single USB type C cable I just had to shove it in but this is going to be a point I'm going to cover in a more detailed review for now I want to focus on the drawing aspect there's virtually no parallax meaning the display to where the cursor is there's not a huge gap between it that helps it feel more like paper um, this is not gonna feel like paper meaning like it, the screen isn't textured it's actually pretty matte which feels nice when you're using it but it's not paper like screen protector like you normally see on iPads but it does not affect the drawing experience it's still pretty nice and the color accuracy of the display i think is pretty good i do not know the exact specifics but i did enjoy myself using this and pen pressure the pen pressure works pretty well in a lot of apps especially in clip paint studio um i did play around with some of the settings just to get my brushes exactly the way i wanted and it was really nice being able to get smooth lines and since this is not a touch display I actually didn't really need my guard glove too much for this especially when I'm not in a hard environment normally I'm always wearing my guard glove which is basically a half glove that protects my hands from the screen most of the time I use it to prevent um, random touches and also for sweating but this time I didn't really need it which was pretty nice and I'm creating work that I'm gonna be using a convention on such a budget display tablet and i really wish this was something that came out when i was 13 years old 14 year old because i got my first digital arts tablet when i was 14 it was a wacom intuos it's actually the first video on my channel if you go back and it was over a hundred dollars it was pretty pricey and now a lot of these companies they have the same Add tablets for less than $50 and they work just as well. It's crazy. And back in my day, I feel like I'm old now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 22 in May. Uh, but the only display tablets that was available in the market was by Wacom. And the cheapest one was over $1,000. I think it was the Wacom 13 HD. And that was in my wish list for so long, but it was so expensive. And it was so clunky you had to have all these extra cables granted 
you can still have a lot of cables with this, but with the single USB Type-C option, oh my gosh, this is something I gotta show you guys in my next video, but I really wanna focus on the drawing. But I wanted to add to a point on how far these things have come for the price point. Oh man, you guys are so lucky. This, the pressure, the convenience, you don't have to worry about so much about drivers. Oh, back in my day, oh my gosh, not even back in my day, 2014, that was a couple years ago. Wow, that's crazy on how that's, I don't know exactly how long ago it is from the posting of this video, but roughly 10 years ago now. Ah, it's crazy how far they have come. I was able to, oh, the pressure works. Ah, I'm not simping so much over this tablet. Disclaimer, I did get this sent for, to me for free, but this video is not sponsored. All opinions are my own. They're not paying me to say any of this. Uh, this is my job on the channel to review a lot of hardware. I've been searching for the right hardware since I was 14 and I went through so many different brands and so many artists used to praise Wacom for their pen display. And I must say that they're no longer the best one in the market. Granted, I haven't used the top of the line, but I did use the Wacom Cinti Companion, the first gen, and I ended up selling it. Actually have a review up there on my channel. And I'm just really happy on how far these have come. Like, I really like drawing on this, and this is gonna be my new favorite portable pen display because I can also use it as a regular monitor to edit videos. That's something, again, I'm gonna be featuring in my final review so that way you guys can see my setup of this. Oh man, this thing is really nice. One of the downsides is that the pen does not have an eraser built in, so you can't just flip it and erase. But XP Pen did combat this with uh, the express keys on the pen. So one of the buttons, because again, I didn't modify any of the shortcuts. I just started to use it. One of the buttons actually an eraser. And it's really nice because you can switch between eraser and then the other one lets you alt click, which in Clip Paint Studio, I think turns into an eyedropper. So when I'm drawing, that was actually pretty useful and much more intuitive than I thought it would be. So good job on XP Pen for adding that bonus. And another bonus, the ease of use. <laughs> like, ah, sometimes you can run into certain issues with pen display depending on your computer. So I actually have to switch over to a different laptop for a slightly different reason. Um, that will go in into another video, but basically I just didn't have a lot of my drivers updated but it did not affect the drawing capabilities it's just that my screen would not mirror for some reason and so some things you do run into because of os specific that's why pen displays are not normally uh extremely uh beginner friendly just because of that the use can vary depending operating system but i can tell you it does not affect the drawing experience it's just something with windows that wouldn't let me uh because I don't like duplicating the screen. I like drawing while having my references on my laptop screen. So that's just a Windows specific thing. And this works with Mac as well. I do not have a Mac computer to test this out on. Uh, so sadly, I'm sorry about that, but I know this also works with Android. And at this point of this drawing, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I did my process slightly different than usual since I was really trying to clean up my art style. I actually spent a lot longer on this drawing than I normally spent on a portrait like this. Normally a portrait like this takes me a little bit over an hour. This took me around two and a half hours just because I went in and I cleaned up. And I must say the size does not feel too small. Like. I, I can fit everything on my screen and I think this is like a very comfortable size to have. Um, the 15 inch models is normally my, my favorite comfort size, but for travel use, I prefer this much better because it fits so much better in my backpack and uh, I don't feel like I'm breaking it since it's built a little bit thicker, like a thick sandwich board, but not in a way where it's heavy since most of the build does feel um, plastic so 
It doesn't feel super premium, but it does not affect the drawing qualities as you guys can see through this video and what I was able to do. So if you guys really enjoy this print, I'm gonna have it in my online store pretty soon since my first convention is in May and I will be selling some of these online. And I'm just, again, super ecstatic that I was able to create this on a budget pen display that I didn't have to go through a lot of issues with the drivers. I just had to troubleshoot one or two times um, on the unboxing video like I did, but that was mostly due to windows and it worked in the pressure. I didn't have to go through all this headache to get the pressure to work in a certain app. Ah, I'm really happy how far XP Pen has come and I have to give them a bonus on the design. This tablet looks very pretty. I really love the blue color. It's not too bold. It's actually a cool pastel color in real life. And it looks really nice. And I like how the sandwich buttons look next to it. And that's something that I don't see a lot of pen displays really achieve with their design. I try to stay away from super technical usage um, a lot of time, especially with these types of videos, because in real day today use a lot of the specs and fancy uh jargon doesn't really matter um so i try my best to have videos like this of just me strictly just drawing on the device and telling you what design elements actually work in day-to-day -day use versus the ones that doesn't um because i found that super helpful because a lot of the time people say oh i need a 4k display but a lot of the time in day-to-day -day use a more higher quality display um, takes up more power and depending on your computer it might not be able to handle that so because this is i think at a slightly lower resolution it can run on a mini laptops so i know that the digital arts this is like your one investment for a long time i know i personally had my pad tablet for a very long time and that's why a lot of people choose digital arts over traditional arts because it's just one giant purchase and you save a lot of money in the long run so when it comes to investing this is i think definitely worth it for the time being and i'll catch you guys in my next video is you guys enjoy this leave a like down below and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.